Ladies and gentlemen, this, ladies and gentlemen, is the main event of the evening on BBC Sport. Tennessee Sports proudly presents tonight's main event, the contest of ten three-minute rounds to decide the light middleweight championship of the Southern Area. Between and introducing the boxers, and firstly, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks trimmed with black, Coming from a sick cup and a Bermondsey, he weighed in at 10 stone, 13 pound and 14 ounces, and holds a 19 fight professional record. 17 wins and 9 wins coming by way of knockout, with one loss and one draw. He's the former Southern Area Waterway champion, and tonight, the challenger for the title, please welcome David Kick Dynamite Walker! And his opponent, ladies and gentlemen, across the ring in the red corner, wearing the shoulder trunks trimmed with black, coming from the new market, weighing in at 10 stone, 12 pounds and 10 ounces. He brings to the ring a 16 by professional record, 14 wins, 7 wins coming by way of knockout, with two losses. And comes to the ring tonight, the current Southern Area Light Middleweight Champion defending his title this evening, introducing John Boy Humphrey! The official appointment of this contest by the British Boxing Hall of Control, the student in charge, Mr. Dean Hollington, the timekeeper of the bell, Mr. Bob Edward from Bromley in Kent, and the referee, Mr. Marcus McDonald of Richmond. Humphreys. Right, lads, I spoke to you both in the dressing room. You know what I expect of you. I expect you to act like professionals at all times and obey my instructions. Do you understand me, Walker? Do you understand me, Humphreys? Good luck, Walker. Let's get it on, boys. Ten, three, for the Southern Area Light Middleweight Championship. Having been the Southern Area welterweight champion, the consensus seems to be that David Walker, the man in the uh, silver trunks, without the black stripe, that's reserved for John Humphrey, the Southern Area light middleweight champion. And as I say, the consensus seems to be that it's a bit of a step up for uh, David Walker, who I would have felt was a, a genuine welterweight, but yet he stepped up to 11 stone to take on this tall, rangy, six foot two boxer, the 22 year old uh, John Humphrey. And already it's pretty plain to see that uh, Humphrey is enjoying Duke McKenzie a considerable advantage in terms of height and reach. It's incredible, really. How this guy gets 11 stone into that six foot two frame is incredible. He's like somebody to hit Van Hones. He's just got long arms, he's got a, a big long stance, he's got a ram rail jab. Uh, Walker's really got his work cut out just in terms of getting in close. He's got to be really busy, he's got to bob and weave, he's got to roll in, roll out, get in close and really try to work Humphrey's body. But Walker with that left hand of his hand, though, that was a good right hand from uh, David Walker, the 1998 ABA welterweight champion, against a man who four times was an ABA junior champion, but never quite made it all the way as a senior. Well, Humphrey's laughing, and he seems to be enjoying it, and comes straight back with a lovely run in the corner. Left hand of his, sticks his tongue out, good right hand from John Humphrey. The schedule for 10 three-minute runs. Duke, can you see it going 10? Well, at this rate, probably not. You know, Walker's showing Humphrey absolutely no respect. He shouldn't be dropping his left hand like that and showing out different shots because, you know, he's got to respect the champion. At the end of the day, this kid, he's the Southern Area champion, and he's not champion for nothing. Well, Walker's career received a, a definite setback when he lost last December to uh, Jimmy Vincent and the final eliminator for the uh, British welterweight title. Decided now to move up to light middle. And incidentally, it's amazing that John Humphrey is actually about a pound lighter than David Walker, even though he's some four to four and a half inches taller. Both well inside the 11 stone limit. Good work by Walker. Needs to move away from trouble. And already the right-hand side of Walker's face is reddening up a little bit, but that's nothing new in that. Walker, that curious blinking style of his, comes forward. 
finding it hard to get the range because he's got to really step in because this fellow is so far away from him. Yeah, Walker's, Walker's a little bit short. He's going to have to take one or two desperate measures to get in tight and start working the body of Humphreys. You know, Humphreys, to his credit, he's got a nice high guard, he's got a tight defence. Just keep sticking, he's sticking his game plan, just using his jab and just trying to work his way in himself. 20 seconds to go. Walker trying to work inside that uppercut against the shorter man, which is always a good bet. Walker sensibly moves out of the way, but what a huge difference in height and reach. Being enjoyed by John Boy Humphrey, also known as the Iceman. Walker calls himself Kid Dynamite. A little bit of a dynamite in that left hand of his, and Humphrey says, well done, not a bad three minutes. And the champion back to his corner where his dad is going to be waiting for him and I'm sure we'll give him some pretty decent advice. What a very good, that interesting right opening three minutes. Look at that right hand. Look at that nice straight right hand, right? Nice one, two. He's put three shots together. One, two, left hook. Bring the last one up. Look to get that right hand. Keep that thing. Well, nice and calm in that corner, as they probably should be, but signs that David Walker was getting through. Rob McCracken, needless to say, in David Walker's corner. Just right in the end there, Humphrey's landed a, a beautiful body shot. Just come a sort of a, a left hook right into the midsection there of David Walker. And that was the selling shot for me of that, of that round. Well, it is going to be a big ask for David Walker. Since losing last December to uh, Jimmy Vincent and his unbeaten record went, David Walker's had a couple of contests. O.J. Abrahams, the man from whom John uh, Humphrey took the title. Indeed, the title was actually vacant at the time, but Humphrey beat O.J. Abrahams for that. And Walker always has a, also has a win against the Brighton veteran Lee Wicks. Interesting, Walker keeps those hands high up to the side of his face. He's going to try to get inside. Good work. One, two, three with the left by uh, John Humphrey, just 22 years of age, four years younger than David Walker. It's going to be very difficult to see how Walker can survive against this long reach of Humphreys. If Humphreys keeps it up, a little bit of blood now already coming from the nose of David Walker, the challenger. Gum Shield has come out. Marcus McDonald's waiting. David Walker's Gum Shield. Marcus McDonald will pick it up. John Humphrey will have to go to a neutral corner. As a rather uh, old-fashioned look, David Walker is giving John Humphrey. And I'm sure I must be going through David Walker's mind, Jim. How do you cope with somebody who's uh, got a reach of five or six inches more than you have? He's finding it terribly difficult to get inside. You know, Walker just sickened him again. Uh, sorry, Humphrey just sickened Walker again. With that, that, he's got a slicing left hook and he just slams it down into Walker's body. And you can see it just sinking in. And Walker's got a... Uh, he wants to tighten up his defence and stop stop showboating. He's, he's letting this fight, or this round at least, slip away from him again. He's just too busy, not not working enough. Well, there's a grin all over the face of John Humphrey, and he really seems to be enjoying himself, keeping Walker at bay with that left hand. We're talking about how Humphrey packs 11 stone into that frame. Richie Woodall, when he turned professional, was a, a light middleweight and did it and then moved up to super middle and you can well see John Humphrey putting on uh, at least a stone and doing something similar Humphrey's is enjoying this he's jabbed and he's hooked up the same hand now and he's jabbed by Walker that was a good left hand by Walker and a right to follow wasn't too far away and Humphrey for the first time a little bit of bother in the neutral corner and this is the contest that's going to suit Walker Walker into a left uppercut Walker really taking it to him Rob McCracken is saying come forward you can win this this is a great two-fisted attack by Walker he needs to pick his punch he needs to pick his punch Humphrey in all sorts of trouble Marcus McDonald from Richmond is having a good look at Humphrey he's wobbling and he's gone what a sensation in the second round Humphrey is all over the place and David Kidd Dynamite has lived up to his name and he has never done anything like this and John Humphrey, the short price favourite to retain his title against the smaller man, has simply folded under a barrage from David Walker. And no wonder Rob McCracken is ecstatic. And Mick Hennessy can't believe it either. And Spencer McCracken is equally delighted. But Duke McKenzie, what 
a performance and what a finish by David Walker. That was fabulous. I tell you what, I thought Walker was going to get his lights punched out. He was just starting to unload. He unloaded about a 20 punch salvo. But to his credit, he just maintained it and the champion just crumbled. Humphrey didn't have an answer for it. But I thought he might have just tucked up on the ropes, let Walker punch his up out. He didn't do that. He tried to trade with him. And, uh, and Humphrey's has come unstuck and now Walker's champion again. All credit to the kid. He showed a lot of determination, a lot of heart. He never stopped. Once he had, once he had Humphreys on the ropes, he was on him like a caged lion. Well, the Southern Area welterweight champion is now the Southern Area light middleweight champion. What a finish. Two-fisted, one, two, three. It was that left hand that did it. And Humphrey never really recovered. And Walker never let him off the hook at all. He was throwing hooks. He was throwing jabs. He was throwing uppercuts. He was throwing crosses. He was throwing everything up to and including the kitchen sink. And there was a great right hand. And Humphrey started to go. And that big, tall frame couldn't tuck up sufficiently to keep David Walker away from him and he toppled like a pine tree and the referee stopped it what a finish that was that was the right hand what a corking punch and he didn't let up did he once once Walker caught him with that chopping that chopping right hand he never let up it was like I said before it was like an animal just let out of his cage he could smell the blood and he just went for it and it's paid off for him staggering finish by David Walker who is the champion Well, McHennessy, needless to say, thoroughly delighted. They tried to talk him out of a return to boxing after he lost in spectacular fashion to Jimmy Vincent last December in a British welterweight eliminator. He's moved up now to light middleweight. John Humphrey, well, I'm not saying that his career is in tatters, but his evening is in tatters. Humphrey, no doubt, will come back, and no doubt at 22, he'll learn from that. But the night here in Dagenham, where he lost his chance to have a crack at the British welterweight title very much belongs to the man from Sidcup in Bermondsey, the 26-year-old former ABA welterweight champion, David Walker. What a finish by him. Ladies and gentlemen, at 1 minute 38 seconds of round two, John Humphrey fails to beat the referee's count of 10. The winner by count out and the new light middleweight champion of the Southern Area, David Pitt Dynamite Walker. I don't think I've seen David Walker quite so animated. Your appreciation, please. Uh, John Humphrey uh, will now ask Mr. Dean Hollington to present the Southern Area Championship belt to the new 